Hello everyone, today we're going to build a PC. As a processor we're using the AMD Athlon 760K, a quad core processor running 3.8 GHz and turbo it's 4.2 GHz, 4.1. And we're gonna cool that with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. Um, as a graphics card, we're running the uh, AMD Radeon R9270X, Vapor X. Everything's gonna be put in this motherboard, the uh, Gigabyte F288X D3H. And it's all gonna be powered by the Cooler Master G550M. As RAM, we're using Ballistic X, an 8GB kit of 1600 MHz. We have the case here, Sharkoon T26. So, okay, in part one, we're gonna do the out of the case bit. So we're gonna put the processor in first, then we're gonna put in the RAM, and then we're gonna put in the graphics card. Uh, on the processor, we're gonna put the cooler, processor cooler. But first, what you're gonna do is you want to get a uh, copper cable kind of thing. So you can put that on a big metal object so the static energy can be discharged. You wanna put it around your ankle whatever I'm gonna do that now so I can start building now first you want to get the motherboard out of the box what you find in your motherboard box is SATA cables you'll need that for your hard drive then you'll find some books that you probably will need so you can see where your RAM sticks have to be put this is going to be put in your case. And then you'll have your motherboard here. You can just close the box now. Okay, so we've got the motherboard out of the box. Um, we're going to put the processor. Processor, we're going to put that here. Then we're going to put the RAM sticks. RAM sticks in these RAM slots. Um, where to put them, that's in your motherboard book. So. And we're gonna put the graphics card in this PCI slot right there. So you're gonna get the processor out of the box. What you wanna do with this is just throw it away or put it away somewhere because you don't need that in the crap. Look. And be careful with the processor. It's still in the box, but yeah. You can take off the out the sticker and put it on your PC or something. And this is the processor. You're gonna wanna put it in your motherboard. And how to put it in your motherboard um, is a good question. So guys, this is the processor right there. Make sure you're um, wired, basically. And there's an arrow right there on the processor. And that's gotta be lined up with the arrow right there. And then you're just gonna put it in. First, open this thingy <laughs> and then just put it in like that so now it's done it's a bit of force don't be worried about that and make sure not to touch the pins that are um, underneath the processor because then you'll damage the processor okay so we're gonna install the RAM now we're gonna install it into the uh, in these two gray ones. It's basically color coded. Most of the times, it's the, most of the times the outer one. You wanna open these like notches, and then get your RAM stick. And you see this little thingy right there. You wanna line it up with the same thingy on the motherboard, and just. and push so it's in now okay we're gonna do the other one now basically the same way so turn it around line it up and push okay guys so this is the reason why you would want a better processor cooler than the stock one if you look at the size of this one versus that one you can see why this one 
cools a lot better than the stock one. So you just want to get rid of the stock one. It's crap. So before you can install the cooler, you want to remove the AMD stock back plates. The back plates, so these two things. And that's the stock back plate. Okay, so in order to install the custom cooler, um, you want to put on the back plate provided by Cooler Master in this case. And what you want to do is put this in like that, like line it up with the four holes on the other board itself. And this is quite a difficult job, so we're not gonna show everything, we're just gonna tell you how to do it. You want to put this from the um, from underneath the motherboard up and then put these bolts just screw it on and then do it four times and don't make it um, don't tighten it up too much because then you'll you might damage your motherboard. So we're gonna do that now and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so you want to position your processor cooler so that it will blow out of the case somewhere. So we're gonna position it like this. And you can just put it on now because the plastic is still on. So the air goes right through to that and then out of the back exhaust fan. Okay, so to install it, in order to install it you just wanna take off this fan. really easy and you'll be left with the um, heatsink so first you wanna put this this um, thing <laughs> through there like that okay so there's a little screw in this bracket and there's also a screw hole in the heatsink you wanna, wanna put the screw into the hole and that sounds wrong okay we're, first we're gonna clean the surface of the processor with some acetone and when you're done you want to put on some cooling compound thermal paste and this is the right way just let me explain this first this is the right way uh, yeah it's this is the best way to do it if people tell you otherwise then it's most of the time just total bullshit. Tech Syndicate did a good video on this on how to properly do it and what the effect is if you do not do it right. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay so now we're gonna take off the sticker of the heatsink. Yeah just like that. And you want to put that away somewhere. And put on the heatsink and don't move it too much because then the compound will be will not be spread evenly
Okay, so when you install the heatsink, you want to put it on the fan. Just make sure it won't touch the RAM slots. And yeah. Okay, we're gonna put in the pin into the CPU CPU fan. Just make a little. Okay, that's done. So we turn around the motherboard so we can install the graphics card. Um, this is a graphics card and what you want to do is open this little tab right here like that so you just push it in and yeah it's basically in right now there's still a bit of a wobble but when you install it in your PC there will be two screws here or one so it will be held in its position properly okay so we're gonna put all the cables into the motherboard right now and into the graphics card outside of the box so we can test if it works and if it works we're gonna put it in the desk in the case